Welcome fellow Star Wars collectors to another episode of Beyond the Cardback. I'm Trooper TK314 here with another Star Wars figure review from a galaxy far, far away. And today we're taking a look at the Galaxy's Edge Droid Depot, a customizable build your own droid. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys this. I, know I actually purchased the bundle and the bundle included a personality chip, the book bag and the droid itself. So it was about $140, $150. Um, and then I went and bought a our series accessory panels and I bought blue and you'll see why in just a few minutes and there he is T3 R14 and he's really fun to wear throughout Galaxy's Edge um, when you wear the backpack you wear it open like this um, depending on which personality chip you have there's two resistance two first order and two smuggler chips the smuggler chips are pretty neutral um, but when you are in the first order and you have a first order personality chip when you go to the resistance base, he'll be all like warning and bebop booping and going crazy. But if you're on the first order and you have a first order chip, he'll be happy and, and just fine. Um, vice versa with the resistance chips. But with the smuggler's chips, uh, which is what I have, he's pretty neutral. Um, I, don't, I didn't really notice him going crazy at any, on any side of the park. Uh, but he's really cool and I'm actually going to be cutting to showing you him coming alive at the Droid Depot, so enjoy that. After his activation, I think he's really cool. I like the colors. I wanted to go with something a little bit different. Um, so I went with the blue, black, and white. Um, it's really fun. Uh, it was a great experience. It's well worth the $100 for the droid, especially if you just want one to sit up on the shelf, um, just for nostalgic reasons. This is your controller for him. Um, and each one, each button does something different. This actually will turn his head and it does light up for you. This is for if you purchase blasters to go on the side of his legs. Um, so as you can see, it doesn't do anything. Uh, this one is the one that makes him make noises. I just think he's amazing. Really cool. Um, this actually brings him forward. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. And this will actually make him spin around and he turns and then you back him up and there you go so that is really cool um, there's plenty of accessories that you can buy for him um, each of these doors opens because they are replaceable you can switch them out for the blue or what have you um, but this is actually where you will put your personality chip and I have the purple smugglers chip in there right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this panel off and I'll show you what he sounds like without the smugglers chip. And it's instantaneous, so you don't have to wait or turn him off or reboot or anything. Sounds like R2D2. And I like that noise too, but I am very partial to the smugglers sound and it just pops in there I think he's just super cool I mean that's just cool um, these little panels open up and that's where you can put other accessories um, like some of the little tools that all the Astromex have or what have you um, let's go ahead and open up this side and this also opens up I think it has a a tool you can put in there these also they open up a little bit there we go but it's neat I've seen uh, plenty of people have done a lot of weathering on their Astromax um, to make them look more worn 
but I don't think I'm gonna do that with this one. I, I like him the way he is. Um, what's also neat is the accessory pack. You can switch out pretty much all of the panels on him. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch him out and show you how he looks on my shelf. And there he is as he appears on my shelf with his panel switched out. With the blue panel switched for the black ones. So this droid is really worth the $100. Um, the experience was great. Uh, just having the droid, he's fun to roll on the floor. Um, he's fun to chase my cats with <laughs> and scare them. Um, but it's it's a great experience. Um, I'm telling you, Star Disney really spent some money on Galaxy's Edge, and it was well worth it. Um, it's great. It's also neat to see some of the droids and stuff that are there that you see in the movies. Um, you can also see the life-size R2-D2. Um, that you can purchase for $25,000. Uh, I don't think I'll be getting him in my lifetime unless I win the lottery. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like taking a look at T3R14. Um, if you did, please like, subscribe, comment. Also follow me on Instagram at Beyond the Force. There'll be a link down in the description. Thank you guys once again for watching my videos. I hope you guys have a great day and may the Force be with you.